Folks, I have been back there. I have seen what's back there. We have real hot women. We've got great looking guys, and they're all here to hook up with somebody really great. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it's gonna happen right here on The Big Day. Wahlberg, welcome to the big date. All of today's players are here for one reason and one reason only. Because it's Friday. No, they're here to try to hook up with somebody from the opposite sex. We're going to help them do that. If they do hook up, they'll have a chance to go on a really big date that we pay for. Yeah. Have you looked closely at our set? We have a door over here. We have a door over there. And temptation lurks behind those doors. There's always a chance that somebody could get traded for somebody else, just like in real life. There could also be true love, though. So keep that in mind. First meet Kristen Kirchner, a 23-year-old food server. Hi, Kristen. How are you? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What are you looking for? If we're filling these seats here with men, and if one of those seats had the perfect man for you, describe him for us. I want a guy who makes me be something that I've never been ever before. Great personality, great look, spontaneous, and ready to take off whenever I say now. Whenever you say now. Hawaii, Europe, you name it. Let's go. You got us. You know, of course, once we get the money, but, you know, until then. Well, I've got all the logistics figured out. I appreciate that. Let's bring the guys out so we can get started. Okay. Because it's now. Just as you've said. Oh, let's take off and go after the show. I, I can't make it, but thanks for the offer. Oh, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> let's meet Paul Schomer, a 31-year-old entrepreneur. I'm sure he'll want to take off with you. Come on out, Paul. Hey, Paul, how are you? Have a seat right over here. A 30-year-old sales director. His name is Mike Quindazzi. Say hello to Mike the Dazzler. Give me a little taste, Mike. Right on, buddy. Have a seat right over there. We've got a 27-year-old financial consultant. His name is David Cooper, I believe it is. Is it Cooper? Cooper. Yeah, right on. Three fine gentlemen here. Willing to, willing to do whatever you say when you say now. So right now, let's hear a little something from them. Paul, lovely Kristen is here. She'd love to know how you would treat a woman like her special on a date. Well, I would shower her with flowers. Simple as that. That's it. A flower shower. No more. Yeah. What about you, Mike? First date, how are you going to make Kristen say, wow? I think she looks like the beach type. I take her for a romantic walk along the beach. Maybe a little candlelight dinner, some wine. And if she's really special, maybe I'll give her a back massage and brush her hair. Wow. You're going to have an aerobic walk on the beach. You're going to have dinner, and then he will groom you. Yes. How about you, David? Well, if she wants to find out, she's going to have to ask me out. Oh. You know, he Attitude. took a, a very interesting tack there. He's, you know, going for a little bit of excitement, mystery, if you will. You've got to make a choice now. Is it going to be Paul, flower shower? <laughs> or are you going to get groomed by Mike? Or who knows with the mysterious David? Let's go for Mike. Mike. Hello, yeah! yeah, Mike. Welcome. I'm going to ask you two some questions. If you answer correctly, you are going to match up. But I have a question for you first, Kristen. Out of these three guys, why was it Mike? He looks like my type. Does he? Yeah. He looks like the type that would be spontaneous, ready to take off to Hawaii, Vegas. Travel the beach did it. The beach did it. The beach did it? I'm a beach girl, yeah. You are a beach girl. I sure am. There you go. Two of you will have a chance to play for the big date if you match up twice. That's all you got to do. It's not hard to do. Good luck. What's more important in a relationship? A, physical attraction, or B, financial security? <laughs> Matt, you're right off. You both say physical attraction. However, she has mentioned four destinations out of this country. <laughs> so I'm going to work on the finance, OK? <laughs> You've got that going here. Mike, you may want to stay with Kristen and travel the world. But there are two women who'd like to meet you, and I'd like to introduce you to them right now. Great. OK, first of all, say hello to Martha Feinberg, a 27-year-old administrative assistant. Here's Martha. 22-year-old interior decorator Lori Smith is here. Give her a round of applause as she comes out. Choices, choices, choices. Mike, it's all on you. Kristen, the lovely Kristen, who was the apple of your eye for oh that moment. You have one right. You have Martha Feinberg over here. Martha, why should he choose you? 
because I'm not as innocent as I look. <laughs> Okie dokie. And Lori, what would sway his decision your way? Because um, I'm 100% natural. <laughs> Check the ingredients, you will find 100% natural. So what's it going to be? Are you going to go for the, the package says innocent, but the ingredients aren't, or are you going to go the natural way, or are you going to travel the world with Kristen? What's going to happen, Mike? Kristen! <laughs> well, <laughs> Mark, it's a difficult choice. Oh, I know. I wouldn't, wanna, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. I think I'm going to travel the world with Kristen. Hey! <laughs> One more right, you guys, and you're well on your way to the big date. Good luck. A cashier mistakenly gives you back too much money. It could happen. Do you, A, be honest, give it back, or B, take the money and run? Oh, honesty pays off. Congratulations, you guys. You're our first lucky couple. Get to know one another. There you have it. They're going to be traveling a little bit together. We'll find our next couple after this break. Join us, will you? Find out who's going to go on that big date in a little while. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the big date. Look at Kristen and Mike. They're cuddling and holding hands over there. How's it going back there, you guys? Oh, just Great. wonderful. We're hitting it off so well. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> They're discussing travel plans, I bet ya. Let's get Paul up here, see if we can find him a date. Give him a round of applause. What do you say, Paul? You ready? I am absolutely ready. I'm glad to hear that. We have the lovely Martha. She says she looks innocent, but oh no, she's not. Oh no. And then Lori is here and she says she's 100%, 100% natural. No, no preservatives or anything. No additives? No. Got a lot of that. If that were not a hard enough choice, Paul, behind that door over there, you can sort, easy. Behind that door is a woman, a breathtaking woman. So many men have seen this woman and have lost their physical breath. Which could be a really good thing. I've, I've been a man to take chances before, so I'm going to take the door. The door! <laughs> Heather Bolton, ladies 26-year-old Heather Bolton. Hi, Heather. Hi. Welcome to the show. Grab those paddles right there. Hey, you took a chance. I the lovely chance Heather now joins us. Heather, Paul, Paul, Heather. Match twice. You're our second lucky couple. Okay? All right, good luck. What usually comes first in your relationships? A, a deep emotional commitment. Or B, a wild night of passion. Very good. Would you say, Heather, that if the passion is there, the commitment could follow? Definitely. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If there's no passion? No commitment, sorry. There, no. you, there you go. It's too important. Passion's too important. Yes, it is. Do you share that feeling, Paul? Oh, 100%. <laughs> it's your choice, Heather. You've met Paul, nice guy. Right off the bat, you got a connection there. You got one right. You think the same on that question. Have you met David? David Cooper sitting right there. He's not moving much, but he is lifelike. Nice guy, handsome fellow, would love to get to know you. And yet, there's another guy who we haven't seen yet. What's that? Oh. They really like Paul. Heather. <laughs> Behind the door over there is another man who is just an Adonis. I'm sure. Or just a statue. I'm not sure which, but could be the man of your dreams behind that door. What's it going to be? David, who hasn't had a chance to play yet. Paul, or the man behind the door? I think Paul's a wonderful guy, but I don't like to have anyone sit in their seat for too long, so I think David should come up here. Out of the concern for fair play, David is here. Do you want to see the man that was behind the door that you didn't get to see? Sure, why not? You want to see him? Let's bring him out right now. There he is. It's our good friend, Bert Dinkle. Give Bert a nice round of applause. I'm sorry it didn't work out this time, Bert. Boy, you're disappointed, aren't you, Heather? Yeah. 
He's my if dad. you'd have just taken a gamble, true love would have been yours. <laughs> but maybe we can rekindle it with David here. Sorry, you have to play second fiddle, David. Uh, this is not a problem. <laughs> okay. Get two right, you're on your way. You're stranded on a desert island with one other person. You would prefer, A, someone really smart, or B, someone really sexy. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It's a tough choice. Very tough choice. It's not really a tough choice because Gilligan was stranded with a professor. They couldn't build anything. You like somebody really sexy, huh? Definitely. If you're on a desert island, is this going to work with the two of you, you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking here. I get the answer Doesn't there. Matter. That's all that matters. Does not matter. You got one right. You could continue this relationship, David, if you choose to. But have you met Martha? Look at her blue eyes. They can make you swoon. I'm okay. And then Lori is 100% natural. Would love to play the game. David, what's it going to be? Lori! Heather, you have something going on. I'm going to stay with Heather. You're staying with Heather? I'm staying with Heather. Why are you going to stay with Heather? Um, she's just got a look that I really like. Well, there you go. The, the brown hair. The, just a nice, nice look. Well, there you go. Good luck, you guys. During sex, what's on your mind most? <laughs> A, pleasing your lover, or B, pleasing yourself? And the truth comes out. Yeah! That's good to know. We'll please one another by uh, embracing for a moment. We have our second lucky couple. When we come back, we're going to find out which one of these couples is going to go on the big date. Join me, will you, right after this? Welcome back to the big date. We got two fantastic couples who have survived the first half of the show. Now it's time to see which couple is really meant for one another. We've got David and Heather over here. I think they're doing pretty good. And then Mike and Kristen hooked up so quick it was mind-boggling. All right, the most compatible couple is going to be on their way to the big date. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read you several statements that you responded to earlier before the show, okay? So you can't really change your answers now. We know the truth, okay? If it's true about you, hold up the card that says me. If it's a statement that's not true about you, you simply hold up the card that says not me. And the couple that matches the most will go on to the bonus round and a chance for the big date. Simple as that. You ready? Yes. Good luck. We're ready. All right, Mike, you're sitting so very ready to go. We're ready to rock Mike's and like, roll. play the game. <laughs> Me or not me? I know the words to the Brady Bunch theme. You know the words, Heather. Yes, I do. Yeah? Do you want to hear it? No, please don't ask me. But up, but up, up. I absolutely refuse to sing those lyrics. But I promise, I swear, Scouts Honor, I know them. We'll believe you. Me or not me? I have kissed pets on the mouth. You know the Brady Bunch theme song, and you kiss pets on the mouth, Heather. Yes. Really? Yes. Which pet do you have? Dogs. Dogs. Is that, is that gross to you, David, because you're dating her? Um, <laughs> as long as you, like, take a shower, brush your teeth, use some real strong mouthwash, <laughs> we'll be okay. Just Don't a small ever. hygienic regimen. <laughs> me or not me? <laughs> I give a great massage. <laughs> well... <laughs> Mike, you give a good massage? What What's the say. key to a good massage to you, Mike? And listen up, Kristen. Strong hands, deep tissue massage, getting those thumbs right in behind the neck over I can here. Feel it right now. Can you feel it right now, Kristen? Oh, yeah. Wow. Can we demonstrate or should I wait oh, for yeah. later? Yeah. <laughs> I could let you do it, but then it would be a pay-per-view episode, so we can't we can't continue. Yeah. Me or not me, you. please be honest with this one. <laughs> me or not me, I pee in the shower. <laughs> David. David said, it's okay if you kiss a dog as long as you shower afterwards, but then 
Heather, I shouldn't have spoke. Not every time. Of course not. <laughs> no, Sometimes you don't have to go. <sighs> yeah. I always have to shower first then. You have to shower first, absolutely. Me or not me. I think Hootie and the Blowfish blow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like. They blow, so they're no good. Blow, not good. Right. They suck. You th everybody else likes Hootie, yeah. Oh. yeah. What is your favorite Hootie moment? You don't really have a Hootie moment to think of, do you, Kristen? I like, no, I like all of it. You like the whole Hootie yeah, experience? Yeah, I like all the new music out. Hootie included. Hootie included? Yes. You must include your Hootie. There you go. <laughs> I like Hootie when I'm with Kristen. Oh. There you go. Oh, what a guy. <laughs> you would like Hootie if it was a dog you could kiss. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just kidding, Heather. Me or not me, I have cheated on a lover. Oh, I'm honest. I'm honest. I'm honest. You're honest. Would you like to justify your answer? Um, wrong situation. Let drag out too long, and yeah. So I just kind of was moving away slowly, and then I got just pulled away drastically. Yeah. Uh, me or not me, I have Xeroxed one of my body parts. Fine. All right. Oh. I'm so disappointed you haven't lived. We have a, a compatible couple here. Congratulations, it's Kristen and Mike. The winner. Most compatible couple. They will come back in a moment for our bonus round, and they're going to win the big date. We're going to pay for it. We have a date after this break. We'll see you in a minute. If you're sitting there at home saying, hey, Mark, I want to play the game, well, guess what? You can. All you got to do is call 1-900-DATE-BIG, answer some simple questions about yourself and what you're looking for in a mate. Our computers will match you up with the people who match your big date profile. You can also leave messages for the contestants you see on the show. Got to be 18 or older, costs $1.50 per minute. Your big date could be just around the corner. If you'd like to save up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free Lens Express catalog. Call 1-800-340-LENS. If you have a question about your love life, call now and speak to a real psychic and get 25 minutes absolutely free. Call 1-800-968-8117. Call now. This call is free. If you're 50 or older, AARP has benefits created just for you. Join now for just $8. Call 1-800-520-6444. Hey, folks, welcome back. You know, when we started this show, we didn't know what was going to happen. We had so many gorgeous people who wanted to hook up. But right off the bat, Mike and Kristen found one another, and it's worked ever since, hasn't it? Give them a round of applause, you guys. <laughs> now it's time to see how big your big date's going to be. Here's what's going to happen. Before the show, you both told us some very personal information about yourselves, and we put it on the wall for everybody to read and write their own comments. But now... <laughs> We're going to have a little fun with it. I'm going to ask each of you three true or false questions about your date's behavior. Every time you're right, we're going to give you $50, okay? But there's more. That's, good. That's not it. You could get a lot of money, but if you get four out of six right, you are eligible for a trip to Jamaica. We're going to draw that later today because today's Friday. We're talking about an all-expense day trip to the Sandals Resort. You fly there via Air Jamaica. It's a good thing, so good luck. True or false, Kristen's dad once punched out her boyfriend. Huh. True or false? True. I'm going to have to say true. Kristen, true or false? True. Well. Yeah. That ought to make you feel real special right now, Mike. Yeah, I might have a little second thoughts here. But... Why? Why did your dad punch out the boy? He wouldn't leave me alone, and he had abused his little girl, and my father is very protective over his family and over me. Give it up for dad, and, you guys. Uh, yeah. Good dad. You'll be a good boy, Mike. You'll have no trouble. No problems here. You go out of line, daddy's <laughs> gonna take you down. This is about Mike. Good luck. Mike uh, has picked up a woman on an airline. True or false? True. So quickly they turn on you, Mike. True or false? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Every guy's had to have done that if they're a man. Every guy has dreamt about it. Few have actually done it. You got a hundred bucks, you guys. Excellent. Woo! That was the lamest high five I've ever seen. I kind of missed him. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Let's try again. <clears throat> True or false? Kristen takes a Polaroid of all her dates. True or false? False. False. True or false, Kristen? False. Oh. Let's try that again. Sorry, I'm a little. 
Much better. The same. That's another fifty dollars. All right, guys, you got three right. That's one hundred and fifty dollars. Kristen, a chance to add fifty more bucks to your little partnership there. True or false? Mike likes to use peaches during foreplay. True or false? False. Mike. That's false. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> hey guys, you know what that means? That's four right. You're eligible for the trip to Jamaica. We're gonna draw for that in a little bit. Congratulations. Yeah. Good luck. Be the perfect couple. True or false? Kristen once had sex on the job. True or false, Mike? She looks too innocent. That's false. Kristen? False. It is false. You have five out of five. One more right, Kristen. You get $500 for being the perfect couple. Here is the question. True or false? Mike likes to lick women's feet. Woo. True or false? I'm going to say false. Mike? False. Hey, they did it! Woo! Excellent job! I had a feeling this was going to happen. You're the perfect couple, you guys. Come here. Here's what happened. Because you got four out of six, you're eligible for the trip to Jamaica. We have some other couples who are also eligible for this trip to Jamaica, so let's get that going. Welcome back to the show, Shelby Sheehan and Chris St. James. Come on out, you guys. You remember them? Excellent. That's two, but we also have another couple that made it four out of six, Allison Fox and Stephen Sherry. Come on out, Allison and Stephen. There we go. Welcome back, you guys. Now, comes down to the good luck of the draw, we have to bring out our good friend, Bert Dinkle, with the, with the lucky draw. Come on out, Bert. Give him a nice round of applause. Thank you, Bert. So nice to see you. We spared no expense for this bucket. <laughs> There are three couples' names in here. I am going to draw one out at random. The winner goes on an all-expense-paid trip to Sandals Resort in Jamaica, flying there on Air Jamaica. It should be fun. And the winner for this Friday is... Kristen Kirchner, Mike Quindazzi. Today's winner is giving a nice round of applause. Hey, here are the details on that fabulous trip to Jamaica. Round trip airfare provided by Air Jamaica with more nonstop flights to Jamaica than any other airline. Love is in the air, Air Jamaica. Accommodations provided by Sandals Resorts, the Caribbean's number one ultra all-inclusive luxury resort for couples only. Sandals Resorts, where love comes to stay. Provided by Bernini. Good. 